Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. A new development near the Metrolink station in Upland promises to be the start of even better things to come. With us now is the mayor of Upland, Ray Musser, to uh, tell us about this project. It's a, a development, you. condos, homes. Right, it's condos and townhomes and uh, 209 right at the tracks where the train station is. Couldn't be any better. Now, who are these homes? Uh, who are you thinking is going to move there? Mostly college students. We're just two stops from Claremont five universities and uh, we have another one in uh, at the west end of town that has filled up with them and that's because Claremont's just across the border that they don't get on the train to go there uh, but Montclair is between us and Claremont. Now describe so. the rest of this area and uh, <clears throat> the benefit that you expect to see from this development. Oh, it, it's going to help explode downtown uh, Upland historically has had oranges and lemons, and that's why we have packing houses. This is not a. Pa this is where a packing house actually burnt down <coughs> 30 years ago. It was our largest, mm -hmm. and now here there was 20 acres plus, and they are building. It's they have built 40, thinking that might be all they sell, but they sold 20 of them already, and already started to build another 120, and probably all of them. Uh, used to be able to buy it at 380000 to get into a home. Mm -hmm. That's unheard of. Uh, I, it's not that anymore. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. 400 or more now. <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, aside from the price, what is attractive mm -hmm. about these homes? Attractive is because, <clears throat> number one, you're in an HOA. You don't have to worry about anything. Just park your car on the first floor. You do have to climb stairs. It's three story, no elevator. So it's probably not for grandpa and grandma, mm -hmm. but for uh, those that uh, the kids are gone and the young people, it would be perfect. And the Metro is right there. And you're hoping that this <coughs> is the start of other development to come. Yes. Why is that? Well, we have a packing house that's being looked at on the other side of the tracks much, much, well, I shouldn't say much, much larger, but about the same size. And that will be commercial. This is only residential. So it's just going to spark. There's other land around there. I predict that in the next five years, Upland will see more change than in the last 20 years. Tell us about that change. Uh, a lot of times city leaders are, um, they plan for that. They, mm -hmm. they hope to light that fire that mm -hmm. gets the development going in a really positive way. Dirt is the key item. The further east you go, the cheaper the dirt comes. So we are about the only city left with some expansion. The rest of the cities to the west of us pretty well filled up. And ours is well another five, ten years. We have actually 2,000 homes under construction at the moment. The benefit you have with the dirt, as you mm. say, is you can plan for that plan. development. A lot of development we That's see, right. especially in Southern California, is something that just happens. That's right. That's right. So what would you like to see exactly there? Well, I would like to see a safe community. Um, education is important, and it's just upland as it's been in the past. Mm -hmm. If you were uh, telling somebody about Upland, someone who'd never been there or heard of it, what would you tell them about your community? I would say we're a lot like a Midwest safe community where you know your neighbor and it's safe to live a and excellent in education. All right. Upland Mayor Ray Musser, thank you very much thank for you. being here today. Appreciate you, you coming out. And glad you could join us too. I'm Leslie Layton.